Today I'm here with three Clash of Clans bases for you. One for Town Hall 9, one for Town Hall 10, and one for Town Hall 11. All have which never been beaten in war. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and we're starting off with the Town Hall 9 base. I'm going to show you two examples of attacks for each of the three bases that are being shared here with you guys today. In addition to that, all of the base links will be in the description of this video, courtesy of Clash Champs champ base division when you head on over there if you buy any bases or anything over there at clash champs clash school use code echo it'll save you 10 percent on any purchases now this base right here is looking pretty fresh notice the town hall nine is right underneath the freeze and poison spell in the bar on the bottom starting off with that queen walk on the eastern side of the base a dragon up top what we're looking at is basically a dragon attack a drag loon with a bunch of rage spells and a bunch of free spells in this one as well. Queen's gonna get some good uh, good value here, getting the lower of that clan castle. Notice it's a Lava Hound in the clan castle. That's important, that slows down the queen. Could even take down healers or possibly the queen if mistakes are made early on. Look at this, I like the use of the rage spell. Now, I'm talking about the attack, but really we're here to focus in on the base. The dragons are coming in from up top. Notice the king was dropped in the western side of the base to funnel those troops into the base. Now the dragons can come straight on through towards those air defenses. Look at this, queen's ability needed to be popped. So there was a lot of fire happening there from the cannon and those two cannons actually that were beaten down on that queen here comes a dragon rider and a balloon out of the uh offensive clan castle i'm gonna push into the base but they're fighting against that sweeper i love the placement on that sweeper right there and there's the town hall line look what's around the town hall you have an air defense and you have the queen waiting to take down anything that comes through there is a poison spell there is a freeze spell the poison spell was missed dropped and just just nicking the queen this attack had no shot at taking down this base no shot at all so it makes me wonder was it the base or was it a foul attack so what we do is we look at another an example as well and we see how that one does because this one right here is going to be a one star defense now the second example is being done by the ground i want you guys to really look at that town hall compartment the king and the queen are there to defend but this time the attacker is going in on the ground no more through the air you have the pekka smash initially right here look at the queen starting out down below you know higher level pekka smash kind of starts with a warden walk but right here it's going to start with that queen because there's no warden at Town Hall 9. But look at this. Max level queen. Raged up. Gonna secure that one star. Remember, the Town Hall being towards the outside of the base is gonna make it easy to clutch the Town Hall. Grab that first star. Most likely, a Town Hall 9 attacker can easily grab the second star. But to pull in the three stars, it's more difficult. Doing this allows you to nestle the clan castle and other defenses that you want to be strong and held value to be centered in the base. Notice right here, it's the clan castle, one bomb tower, the sweepers are in there, as well as two of those air defenses. So good value for those defenses there to protect. But this attack is on the ground. And remember I told you guys, this base has still been unbeaten, which means it's been through war. This one I believe has had eight to 10 attacks, all fell against it. Maybe attacker error, maybe good solid defense. Every base can be beaten in some way or the other you just define that strategy this one has stood the test of time as have the town hall 10 and the town hall 11 bases that you guys are going to see in a few moments as well now this queen walk is taking a long time for her to get on in there there's already i mean we've already had a minute and a half go by on this attack notice something has been dropped up top that bow is pounding the queen is going to make her way around she's still clearing some stuff out Looks like we have a golem that was dropped up top, although the footage I was provided with is not letting me watch. How badly I want to see what's going on up there, but the queen is gonna make her way through. There comes the golem, jump spells dropped, king is on the outside as well. If you guys are curious, all of this footage is sent over to me from these wars and I get to choose which bases I like best and what attacks I wanna feature from it. So thanks so much to everyone over at Clash Champs for uh, continuously working with me on this project. I really love being able to bring bases to the community just so you guys get to use them. Again, base links down below. Queen is doing a good job, but look at the issue here. The issue is time. Plus, the Pekkas, they're not going into the base. I mean, really a great queen charge. 
but too much time was invested on it. The P.E.K.K.A., the King, they're going to be, I mean, they could possibly get through the rest of this base, but it would take about seven years for them to do it. Just moving way too slow. King is going to make his way around, take that jump spell. Queen is taking a little bit too much fire. She's getting pounded on by that bow and the Tesla. And look at that. I love that Tesla farm inside of that compartment. Really great placement. The Queen's going to probably be able to heal herself back up here, though, since it was taken down. But look at that. A time fail which equals a fail. Now guys, I know I talked about using Code Echo in the Clash Champs shop and the Clash School shop, saves 10%, but you could also use Code Echo over in any Supercell game. Clash of Clans, buy your season pass, your gems, anything you like, use Code Echo, it hooks me up. And if you don't want to use Code Echo, consider supporting another creator. So let's take a look at the Town Hall 10 base and what better to look at than a Bow Witch attack against it. This strategy, one of the spammiest strategies at Town Hall 10, yet still one of the ones that's used most often all over the place inside of the game. You got the Wall Wrecker coming on in. There are siege machines being used against this Town Hall 10 base, yet they still hold. Now, something that I love about this video is this video has something for many clans. Town Hall 9, 10s, and 11s all can get a solid base out of this video right here. Let me know, guys, if you like that format or not, because we could definitely bring you more just like this. Queen's going on in. Look at this. You got the heal spell, rage spell. Everything is beating through in the center of the base. Bowlers are doing a good job. What's going to stop the attack? What's going to slow this down? Because those bowlers, that golem, are looking super strong right now. Notice Town Hall. It's an anti-three-star design. Town Hall is up top on the exterior portion of that wall. Cannon's doing work. Archer Tower's doing work. Multi-target Inferno Tower finally beating down, finally beginning to melt those Golemite. And now look at this. All you have left are the King. You have the Queen, but things are looking fairly sparse right now. They have the time, but, but do they? They may not even have the time. The Queen's ability is intact. King's ability is popped right there. Tesla goes down. There is a defending king as well. He can hop the wall, spank around that queen a little bit, and that will be the end of the story. But check this out. The queen is going to get melted by the multi-inferno. Her ability has to be popped. Her archers start dying out from the multi-inferno. King hops the wall, smashes her in the face a few times, and says, good night, young lady. Your attack is over. And look what's still standing. The town hall up top. And you know we got to come at you guys with the now an air attack variation, right? Every single time I do a base video, I give you examples of ground attacks against the base and air attacks against that same base. So right now, coming in with the lightning spells, taking out the air defense, it's the drag, zap dragon right now. The dragon lightning strategy, really popular at Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10. Just taking out, completely removing the air defenses and then sending those dragons in straight at the remaining air defenses. You know, if it were me, I may have gone ahead and thrown the, uh, the, the log launcher in a different position to try and take out that other air defense. This one was kind of just tossed in, not, not to my liking, to be honest with you. But right here, Electro Dragon coming out of that log launcher. You have the dragons pathing on through the base. Notice the queen in the center portion of the base, though. She's going to be picking away. And in the clan castle, this defense is a witch and is a baby dragon. That's really what matters out of all of this. They're going to do some work on those dragons. Look at that baby dragon doing some work. Then you have the witch as well, going to spam out the dragons. You're then going to have the witch and the baby dragon going after the big boy dragon, taking it down. Bows beating down the queen. Dragons are all stuck on those storages in the center of the base, and that e drag is being swept off to the outside with that sweeper. These dragons, they did take down the defending queen, but they can only take bow fire for so long. And now they got witches to deal with as well. That witch, although the witch will go down quickly. She'll get a few shots on them, beat them up a little bit. The traps are gonna do a little work. Everything works together on defense. Put these things together in proper fashion, your clan castle, your traps, and your defenses with some good design. And you could have some solid bases as well. The Multi-Inferno is slowly but surely going to melt, really slowly, this Electro Dragon. And look at this E-Drag, just going to be stuck there on the King. Time. It would have been a fail either way. And now I promised you guys a Town Hall 11 base. We have another anti-three-star design, the Town Hall right here on the outside, utilizing those lightning spells, beating up on the Inferno Towers, and actually completely removing the inferno towers we're talking about the zap witch attack lightning spells first 
Then you get the golem with all the witches behind and you literally spam the entire base. That's what's going on right now. We have that log launcher as well. By the way, I love the log launcher. I think it's one of the best siege units besides the blimp, which can really drop your troops wherever you need them. The log launcher does great work, doing damage, beating up on heroes, breaking through walls, just damaging slowly but surely as it goes through the base until its time is done or of course until it's beaten up along the way, but really great, especially for those ground attacks or for kill squads going into the base. But this base doesn't matter. It's gonna stand, even though the Inferno Towers are removed, even though this Eagle Artillery, well, actually the Log Launcher faded out right there. Here it goes, the Eagle's gonna go down right there to the troops, but things will die. Look at these bows, all from afar. Notice two of the bows are set on air, one of them is on ground. Remember, air bows did get themselves a buff with a little bit more range to, to beat down on these air attacks. But look at this, everything went along the outside of the base. They went up top, they went down below. Not much went into the core of the base, but now a couple of witches and the warden who decides to go in another direction. They're not gonna be able to make their way around the backside of the base. There's a lot of spam and usually spam can do a pretty good job, but those bows, they beat up on those skeletons so quickly, while well, almost as fast as you would get that done with a wizard tower. Point defenses, but it only takes one shot from a bow to take down a skeleton, so it really works fast. And we got four of those bows rocking. Man, they get rocking really fast. And down goes one of the witches. The Yeti's making his way around the base. That Yeti, I believe, was in the clan castle. Yep, was totally in the clan castle. They are going to get the town hall, but then these bows behind the wall, they're just going to keep pounding on these troops to getting rid of the skeletons. Queen is going to make her way around. Look at the time. Time is low as well. That's something that this attacker should have been worried about as well. Thanos coming in on this one with a name like that. You would think they would be OP incredible, but it's talking about, I mean, honestly, this base right here is all about those bows. They were not taken down and they consistently put pressure on the attack from the start to the finish. Yet a miter getting beaten up, but they did do what they needed to do, but they didn't pull in the three star. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, bringing you three different bases for you to use again. The links are in the description of this video and taking a look at this Town Hall 11 base right now, gotta love those air traps protecting that Eagle artillery in the centralized portion of the base. This is why you put the Town Hall on the outside and you really put some something strong centralized in the middle of the base. Remember when you're doing these bases, if you're copying the links, make sure you move traps, move defenses around, rotate the base because this is now a base of the internet. Anyone can see it and you want to be deceptive in war. If you guys like bases, you like classic clans and you like hanging out with me, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for more videos all the time. Have a great day guys and be good.